it can be tough to find a really good homeschool science curriculum. You want something that's engaging and that your kids are really going to enjoy, maybe even with some hands-on elements to it. But especially if you're homeschooling more than one kid, you need something that's easy to plan as well. Luckily, I have found a really great fit for a homeschool science curriculum for my six-year-old. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what we love about the curriculum and why it might be a good fit for you too. Hi, I'm Christy with Homeschooling in Progress, and my goal is to help you simplify your homeschool day. And choosing a good curriculum is a great way to do that. We have found Sunlight Science to be a really great fit for my six-year-old. He is my science lover. He loves everything about science. He can tell you all about the human body. He loved having his own flower garden to take care of last summer. He just loves everything about science. And so I knew when I was looking for a curriculum for him, I needed something that was going to help encourage that interest, something that wasn't too dry or boring or over his head. And Sunlight Science has been great for that. We're a little familiar with it already because we did the K level for his kindergarten years. And now we've moved up to Sunlight Science A, which has also been such a great fit for him. So in this video, I want to share with you what we love about it and show you a little bit about the curriculum so you can see what it is for yourself. So let's go take a look. The first thing I want to share with you is something I really like as the homeschool teacher, and that's the instructor's guide. Sunlight has a really thorough, easy to follow instructor's guide that makes planning the science lessons super easy. Everything is just pretty much open and go. So for the instructor's guide, this is our level A that we're doing. And we chose to do the five day program since my little guy loves science so much. And so in this level, you'll see that they have a book list here and they even let you know what weeks you're going to need the books. And so you can plan ahead to make sure that they're ready to go for that week. They let you know all the items that come in the kit that I'm going to share with you in a couple of minutes. And just some tips on how to use the instructor's guide to make it easiest for your homeschool. So it's all separated by week. And then each week you have what you're doing on every day. So the instructor's guide lets you know. The instructor's guide lets you know what books you need, what pages you're going to read of these books, and then also what numbers of the activity sheets your kids are going to fill in. Then they also let you know what supplies you're going to need for the weekly experiments and even a little planning ahead so that you can put things down on your grocery list that you might need for the next week. So if you don't have them at home, you have time to get it. I love this so then we don't have to be running to 10 different stores to find a certain amount of tubing that we need for something. It's all in the um, kit that we have. So everything is ready to go. So then along with everything you need here, they have some information that you can read just to give you a little bit more background to share with your children. The activity sheets, they give you the answer keys too. So that makes it really easy to check to make sure your child's doing it correctly. And then the activity sheets are right here with the week also. So everything is so easy to find. It's all right there, ready to go. And so you're just going to read a little bit of a book, talk about it, and then do a couple of problems with the science. It's such an easy, easy way to do science for the younger kids. This level is really good for ages six to eight and i have a child on the younger side of that he's six and it has been a perfect fit for him of course the really great thing about sunlight's curriculum for all different subjects is that it's literature based you're not going to have some dry boring science textbook you're going to have lots of fun books on a variety of different topics for your kids to enjoy in the science level A, we're doing fun things like light and sound, talking about animals and the ocean, rainbows. We're learning about inventors with the five-day program, some engineering. There are so many different things that we're learning about. 
my son is really excited to get to the human body. So I know that'll be a, a fun thing for him. He loves looking at this magic schoolhouse book inside the human body. But they have really great fun literature and you don't do too much on a day. That's one thing I really like too. It's the perfect amount. We just read a couple of pages and, and then discuss it. It's just enough to hold his interest, but, and it's not so much that it's overwhelming. So these are the books that you'll get with the level A. My son was so excited with every book he pulled out of the box when it came. So we have some engineering. This is the inventor book that we read on Fridays. And we've been doing a lot in the Usborne Children's Encyclopedia here. He's been learning about grasslands and oceans and rainbows and magnets, lots of fun things. So, of course, the literature-based aspect is a really great thing about sunlight science. And since everything comes in the same box, you don't have to be hunting all over or trying to see if your library has the exact copy that you need at the time you need it. Everything is here for you, and you can just pull it out when it's time to use it. I don't know very many kids who don't love doing some type of science experiment. And my son is no exception. He looks forward to these every week. He is always asking me how many more days until our science experiment. So this is definitely a highlight as well. And it's also something that I know me, along with probably a lot of you homeschool parents, maybe don't always get to because you're having to find so many different materials to use and have them ready to go. And it's just, you know, by the time you get all of that ready, it's kind of like, oh, I just don't even feel like doing the experiment. And so they just don't get done. That's what I love about, sun about sunlight. Everything's together in the box. You have this perfect little discover and do kit, and it has all of the materials you're going to need. You know, how many times do you go to find a balloon and you don't have any at home? Or, you know, one styrofoam ball. It's so much easier to just find it in the box. And occasionally we might have to add something like water or a measuring cup or something like that. Something that we easily have at home. But anything that we might need is already there, ready to go in the quantity that we need. So it makes it so much easier to do the experiments each week. Along with that, you also get the paper packet. So you're not having to print everything off each week either. Anything that your kids might need to fill in is right here ready to go. It's in really nice paper, so it's going to last. And anything they need, the experiment numbers up here so you can easily see what you're going to use each week for your experiments. It's nice and colorful. So it's just so easy to get these experiments done. And along with the kit, you also get a nice book full of the experiments. It's step-by-step, step, so easy to follow. They have, let's get to the beginning of this one here. So they have the introduction here, the numbers right here, which is right in the instructor's guide. So when it says experiment six, you open right up to experiment six and you're ready to go. You pull out what you need. It tells you if it's in the paper packet or if it's in the science kit. It'll let you know right here with the materials. Or if you need to grab some things like ice or a pencil or anything like that, it's ready to go. You can uh, grab it and have it ready to go. Here are the concepts that you're going to teach. And it gives you a little bit of background that you can share with your child. And yeah, some of this might be a little over their head, and that's okay. Some of it's good information for you to know so that you can teach it to your child at their level. And super easy step-by-step -step instructions here. Some questions you can talk to your child about afterwards. And a good um, way to just kind of do some further learning as well. So it's just so much fun to do these activities. They're activities that kids just love to do. My son has really enjoyed all of the experiments he's done. And you can see very easily to see if it has a K, it's in the kit. If it has a P, it's with the paper packet. And if it doesn't have that, then those are materials you might need to grab on your own. 
So this is definitely a curriculum that you will have time to do the experiments and they're not such a chore since you don't have to hunt around for so many things. So when you're looking for a really good hands-on literature-based homeschool science curriculum, check out Sunlight Science. We have really enjoyed it so far, and I know my son's looking forward to continuing on with their wonderful literature books, their hands-on experiments that go so well with what we're learning about. I love the quick and easy assessments each day with the activity sheets, and I really love how everything is just packed up together, ready to go, and all I need to do is see what page we're doing for the day and just enjoy this science time with my child. So be sure to give Sunlight a try. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can check them out. Thanks and happy homeschooling.